Well, hi everyone, this is Don Smith and welcome to the September tip of the month. And I've got a really cool one here. I just got back from uh, Namibia and our uh, Namibia workshop, which I co-taught with Pierre Steenberg and Henning De Beer. Um, we are actually in the process of putting together a really cool safari uh, workshop next year for you. And if you are interested in getting on the first notified list, we're hoping to have that out by this weekend, early next week at the latest. We're just waiting for a couple of the hotels to get back to us and send me an email at don at donsmithphotography.com will put you on that first notified we're going to do 80 percent safari next year you asked for it you're going to get it we're also going to do a couple of days at the world famous victoria falls so we're really excited about next year and would love to have you come along well this year uh, our group was really a lot of fun, and two of our members, Greg Hammond and C.J. Glenn, passed along a tip to me, and I would like to pass it along to you. And this is an image that was actually captured on our last shoot of our last morning in Namibia near the Quiver Tree Forest. The owners of the uh, Quiver Tree Forest have actually raised a couple of cheetahs since birth. And we got our group in for a morning feed. And as we were walking in with the owner who was carrying a large bucket of meat, we were looking around for the cheetahs. And out of this bush, here comes one running directly at me and, you know, didn't have my camera ready, but I threw it up to my eye. And this is basically what I got. And in the past, this would just you know, be a throwaway. This would just be so small. I would uh, consider the picture to be coming in really tight like that. So you can see that my Sony A9 really nailed the focus on this guy, but unfortunately it's just too small until now. <laughs> so uh, for those of you that are on the cloud, this is what's so cool. If you come down into preferences, come down here and there is a line item that I didn't even know existed called technology previews. And this is where Adobe puts its beta sample or you know beta copy of its software. Right here, I want you to put a check mark next to enable preserve details 2.0 upscale and click OK. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is go over here and grab your crop tool. You can see that I've left mine in original ratio. And what I wanna do is hold the shift bar and I am just really going to come in here real close on this cheetah. We're gonna go in even closer. This is just absolutely kind of blows me away. So you can see here is the outline of my image, but as I double click, there's my new image, my cropped image. And you say, well, that's great, but let's go up here, take a look. We're in 8-bit mode, and I'm going to come into image size, and you can see 6.16 megs. Well, you know, that's great if you wanted to maybe make an 8 by 10, go out on the web with it, whatever. But what if we wanted to do something a little bit bigger than that? What if we wanted to do something quite a bit bigger than that? Well, I'm going to change 5.99, and I'm going to bring it up to a height of 18 inches, 18 by 12. And if you do any amount of printing, you know basically you could double this and you could get a beautiful 24 by 36 out of this. Look at the image size, 55.6 megs. Now here's the key. In resample, if you're at any of these other ones in here, you want to come down to the new Preserve Details 2.0. If you have not gone into your preference box and made that change in Technology Preview, it's just going to read the old Preserve Details. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and I'm going to tell you the difference while this is kind of crunching it with the new algorithm. The last version where it just was Preserve Details, to me, always looked way too crunchy. But this new Preserve Details 2.0 the algorithm is written to take a look at what is in focus, what is not in focus, keep what is in focus sharp and enlarged uh, without adding a lot of that old crunchiness that we used to get to the smoother part or the more out of focus part of our pictures. 
So here we are. We're at the uh, enlarged image. And this is now, as I said, and I'm going to reduce this down in just a moment, but let's go back and check indeed. It is an eight, 18 inches by 12 inches, 55.6. And let's just reduce this down to where we were. Um, you can see it's quite an amazing enlargement. I mean, to go up that much and keep it that sharp to me is really incredible. And I'm going to just do one more thing. If you come over here to layers, you'll see I'm on layer one. So let's go up here to layer and just hit flatten image. And I'm going to make a duplicate by clicking command or control J. Come up into filters. I've done a um, video on this before called Focus Magic. And just by default, I'm going to let it do its thing. And let's see if we can sharpen up that cheetah even more. So now I'm going to come in on that. And let me turn this layer off, on. It does a little bit more popping, but that's just telling you that there wasn't that much lack of detail in the original image. It was razor sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and flatten this. I'm going to come up here to my Tony Kuiper panel, the TK, I believe this is version 6. Tony keeps changing this on me so much, I can't keep up. And uh, I'm just going to take the dodge tool. Let's actually take the zoom tool here so we can get right in on this face. I just want to lighten this face up um, just a bit here. And you can see what a great job this does. I do it in increments. If you look up here, I'm at 30%. I'd rather do that than to do it all at one shot. So that, that's looking pretty good. We're going to flatten that. Come on down. And that's looking like a pretty good image right there to me. So pretty amazing. We took, again, what was basically a throwaway image. Let me get rid of that guy. There it is. Uh, I did a little quick Luminar uh, basic adjustment here just to take the raw file and do a little bit of processing before I started this. And we brought it up to that, which is, again, check it out, 55.6 megs. So, you know, I have been in the past one to really bash Adobe for kind of sitting back and not doing a whole lot while companies like On One and Skylum have been giving us some great, great products. And, you know, maybe um, Adobe is finally starting to realize that um, they better get on the ball and give us something. And I think they have here. Um, this is a cool way to enlarge images. Some of the reviews that I've read, and I haven't had time to check it out myself, have basically said it's the best enlarging software currently available on the market now. These are the guys that go in and run their tests. I would have to go in and run my own tests, but I'm telling you to take something like this and blow it up this big, pretty hard to argue. So there you go. That's my tip of the month for September. Again, send me that email, don at donsmithphotography.com if you're interested in any of my workshops uh, specifically to get on the first notified workshop for next year's safari. It's going to be in the latter part of August 2019. We will have the dates. We will have the price here for you, hopefully within the next three to four days. I know Hanning and Pierre are working um, really hard to get these people to answer us back. Uh, a little slow in getting answers back from Africa. But we will have it for you. We'll have it priced. We'd love to have you along. 80% safari. We're going to be in N Namibia, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. And remember, Victoria Falls. So until next month, this is Don Smith. Keep shooting and take care.